Yeah, we're going to see, man. We're going to see what they got. But speaking of the raid, right, did you see that viral video of Diddy he was seen in Miami with Stevie J after the raid? You seen that video? <laughs> yeah, I seen it. I seen it. What you think about that? Well, I go way back when Stevie J first came to Bad Boy after they left Uptown Records and everything like that. And Stevie J and Puff fell out real bad over, you know, uh, it could have been producer credits and the whole nine yards. But Stevie J didn't F with him until Love and Hip Hop. When Stevie J went to Love and Hip Hop and he became Stevie famous J from that, Puff called him over there and they had a meeting. And I guess they rekindled their friendship. Because... I used to bodyguard Stevie J and, you know, uh, go to different clubs. So, you know, I got pictures and everything. Stevie J didn't, uh, he didn't mess with Puff, you know, until after that love and hip hop thing went down, you know. So now they back cool. What got me about the <laughs> stuff like that, that them being back cool, that Stevie J went on TMZ and was speaking up on behalf of Diddy. Damn. Now, if anybody I want speaking up behalf of me, or I had anybody speaking up on, on my behalf, it wouldn't be Stevie J. You understand? I don't think that uh, an individual of his caliber is capable or can be trusted in a way that I would like for him based on his actions on television and who he is as a person, what he has been shown as a individual is a type of individual that I would have speaking on my behalf. Come on. We know he's a drug abuser. We know that he's been seen putting his hands on women in the wrong way. And, I don't know. This this that shit is crumbling, man. You know what I'm saying? But you 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 know you can always say this, man. And 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 the infamous words of one of the world's greatest comedians, Richard Pry, cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Why you say that? Cocaine, hey, look, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. They did say that my young Miami, you know, she was the one doing all uh, the trafficking for the peak cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Like she was the uh, basically did it. You know, drug little, just little drug bitch. You know what I'm saying? She selling, getting the drugs out for him. You know, getting the drugs in, getting them out. You know, it's peak cocaine, bro. I'm pretty sure uh, young Miami know thousands of fucking bitches that snort that shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? These females ain't got down. Bruh, these industry females ain't like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them, you know, some of them clean, bro. You know, some of them sweethearts like Candace Owens. I love her. But, bruh, all these hoes, bruh, these bitches is snorting up a damn store, man. Let's get it. Because LaRob said that they be doing the liquid cocaine in the, in the bottles, in the Ciroc bottles. We know Stevie J been in countless rehabs back and forth. We know we've heard of Puff being in rehabs, secretly going to rehabs too. So, my man, when you get on those type of psychotropical, uh, I think it's psychotropical drugs, okay. man, and you start believing your own bullshit, and them two individuals together, yeah, man, man. Man. you know, you know they got to be crazy. Some got to be wrong with when when he sit up there. And he said that <laughs> he want to challenge fifty. He and, and, and I don't know much about that clout. Sh him challenging fifty to a fight, and we seen how fifty cent. We seen how Stevie J fight on Love and Hip Hop and all that other bullshit. Him Scrappy, him uh, this other cat, my man. There's no way. There's no way. He 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 don't want it with fifty, bro. That that's if that ain't cocaine, the Pope ain't Catholic. So you feel like fifty cent would give Stevie J that work? It wouldn't even be a job. 
50 Cent will whoop. 50 Cent will whoop niggas like Stevie J Prediction on the way to a real fight. You seen 50 fight before? I ain't never seen 50 fight. <laughs> I seen some tapes of him get down on that end, but I never seen him fight in person. But I know the demeanor of a man. I was with 50 Cent on a couple of occasions, and one occasion, it was just me and 50 and about probably six other dudes that didn't want to get out the car because he was ready to get down. And you could see it in him. You could see he got it in him like that. I'm looking at him. I wrote this shit about, my, about this shit in my book. 50 ain't back. He don't back down, bro. And you could see when, when you know a dude is about it, about it, and got it in him, you could see it in his eye. You could see it in the way he, he, he carry himself. You see how he threw his own man in the bushes, Tony Ayo. <laughs> they got takes on 50 getting down boxing. I've Yo. seen I've seen takes on him. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen him in person, you know, as far as fighting. I've been with him in person. 50 must get the motherfucking head. He got it in him, him bro. Oh, but yeah, yeah, that caught me by surprise because I always knew that Stevie J he did production head. for Bad Boy, but I never knew him and D was that close until, you know, as of late. You know, since the read, so. Yo, they was close. They, yo, bro, Stevie, Stevie J and Puff was like pots and pans back in the day. So I don't know what happened between them, but something happened on the producing credit side that Stevie J stopped effing with him. And, you know, Stevie wasn't dealing with him at all. He was just doing more stuff for, uh, for Jodeci than he was Bad Boy. Damn, man. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, he knows. Hey, G Deal knows some motherfucking shit. G Deal is gonna be the reason. You know, they go ahead and get Diddy up out of here. Just like, you know, Keefe D was the reason his ass got up out of here. Because he kept on fucking talking. And Cassie, she just started working with the feds as well. Lil 